percent of her no monthly way. listeners on Spotify while producing her debut album. She lost how many? Fifty percent of twenty-five million monthly listeners in one year, nigga. She had that many on to begin with. You said that was fifty, which means she had that was fifty percent, which means she had fifty million. Are you crazy? Nah, she not fifty million. Nah, I'm be honest, that's ridiculous. For monthly. fifty million monthly listeners, bro, dog, that don't even sound right. What? Yo, bro, yo, bro. and go every single year right, one moment an artist can be on top of the game with everyone wanting a feature okay. and the next they can be completely falling off Carlo what, what, what technically was falling off you know what i'm saying i don't know uh, falling off is the term used for when a artist or slash rapper you could say no longer has the amount of clout or fame that they used to in one point would you like a, a longer definition okay eight thirty million <laughs> like, i don't gotta do Yo, do I, do I, do I gotta keep making music, bro? I don't need to, bro. I'm, I'm rich. I don't need to make music. I do it because I know I still have. So, first 20 seconds in, I'm ready to lose it. Making music, bro. What'd he say? Technically, what's falling off? You know what I'm saying? I done made 30 million. I don't gotta do. Yo, do I, do I, do I gotta keep making music, bro? I don't need to, bro. I'm, I'm rich. I mean, but I don't know, but like, bro, wait, Jamar, why you put like the silent sound though? I mean, if he actually made 30 M's and he don't want to make no more music, he don't got to do nothing. He, he don't got to do a single thing. I relax too. It's like 30 M's in the account. I mean, yeah, he can make more, but it's like if he actually has, if he actually isn't capping and he has 30 million in the account right now, I'm going to go lay down. I'm not doing nothing else. Man, some people just had different limits, bro. I don't know. Like he, if he's cool with his thirty M's and gonna go relax, he can do that. I don't. I don't need to make music. I do it because I know I still have fans. And with that fall off, obviously comes a lot of scrutiny and public embarrassment. I mean, and the same. Yeah. But like I said, if you got thirty M's in the account, and not that many people are watching him anymore or listening to his music. Who cares? I still got 30 million. I wouldn't care either. Thing really is true that the quicker someone rises up, but I think that's the point. They do care. He's trying to fake like he don't. But so they will likely fall back down to the bottom. There is a myriad of reasons for this phenomenon. For one, we obviously the baby's fall off was just like stupid it just didn't even need to happen and it just happened in the fast food era of media from movies to music and even videos and online content we digest on a daily basis most pieces of major media now seem to lack a certain quality they possessed in the past and i'm not necessarily just talking about from a budget standpoint today things seem more rushed more formulaic less thought out and moments tend to come and go faster than ever before. Okay. We live in an age of information and content overdrive, and with yeah. social media, anyone and everyone can now go viral. And every yeah. day there are millions of people desperately yearning and grinding away to try and get themselves out there. Meaning when someone does yeah. make it, there is a good chance that hundreds, if not thousands of people, will try and replicate their success in some shape or form. And since most uh, of the artists who blow up really fast do not have the fan yeah. base in place to carry them through the tough times, it's easy for these fickle fans to turn their backs on or simply stop caring about a rapper. <laughs> Who is that performing? <laughs> nah, no way. <laughs> through the tough times, it's easy for these fickle. <laughs> Who is that? Is that Lil Pump, bro? Who is that? Who is fans that? To turn their backs on or simply stop caring about. Why well, did it catch no one out here? But you're out there. You see how he just, bro? He glazing, like he like no one out here. Two skull emojis. But you're the one standing there recording it, like you did, cause you dare. There's music. There's so many parts of that era of rap where like people got fame so fast they were so young you know what i'm saying like and i feel like that was some of the foresight that he was saying not even necessarily about quote unquote falling off you know what i mean 
dumbass <laughs> just looking at the screen like he you can literally see it through his fucking glasses he has no clue what he's talking about currently at oh. all so you don't think he, you don't think he predicted anything i don't think he predicted shit no it's like trying to build a house with no foundation like Damn, if one strong shit. gust of wind comes oh, through stronger than all the relationships i've ever been in that shit is sturdy i've never seen a two by four be that damn sturdy like if one wow that's strong gust the wind comes through or adversity in this case well suddenly no one is playing the music no one is going to the shows other artists stop hitting you up and the industry decides they no longer want to play with you it turns like it's not picking up phone calls i ain't no i ain't no friendly anyway though you know what i'm saying so that that kind of that ain't had no type of effect on me like i barely called i ain't called i was on when i was on top oh yeah and you that's not a flex, bro. That's not smart. That's just not smart. That's not a flex. Uh, yeah, I didn't really pick up the phone even when I had a whole bunch of people wanting to talk to me and, you know, giving me opportunities and deals and, you know, talking about possible, you know, connections and people I can make songs with. Now, I wasn't picking up no phones. None. I was picking up zero phone calls. I was never picking up any phones. I would never do that. It's like, Okay. <laughs> like, you still owe the you... label five albums. You got to pay back the advance they gave you, which is really just a high interest a loan. They now what own your happening? masters. They own your likeness. And they're taking most of the money from your tour if you can still do that to try and recoup their investment on not only you, recoup. but 20 other failed <laughs> artists before you. Not to even mention your new lifestyle and image you can no longer afford eating away at your pockets. <laughs> By the time. He was like, bro, Spencer was like, this is so random. He was just like, I don't need you on my bumper right now, Coop. <laughs> she was like, we could talk about this. Let me out <laughs> loud. Wait, wait, bro, I got to find it, bro. <laughs> I, really, I really don't need you on my bumper right now, Coop. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I got to find it. I need you on my bumper right now, Coop. Please, I got to find that TikTok, bro. Bro, Spencer, Spencer James, bro, come on, TikTok, work with me. It's literally on TikTok, bro. <laughs> Don't gotta worry about me, okay? Neither does my mom, Dylan, the Bakers, or whoever else can mind their damn business. Do you hear yourself right now? You are our business, okay? So if you hurt and we hurt, you hear me? I said I'm good. End of discussion. Oh man, I've known you way too long. And you're not good. So enough with the BS. You need to let it go, all right? I'm not letting nothing go until we figure this Yo, out. I really don't need you on my bumper right now, man. Look, you angry, I get it. Cool. We all feeling Billy. <laughs> 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 I will never need to be doing nothing like that, bro. If I show anybody a clip and be like, what do you think this is from? What type of show? You would never say a football show. You would never say anything dealing with football at all. Because uh, I swear, he... Cool. Only, uh, we, 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 we. <laughs> What's she saying? Bro, what's she you don't got to worry about me. Hey, she's like, she's like, I'm hey. not letting nothing go until we figure this out. <laughs> I'm not letting none go until we figure this out. Coop, I really don't need you on my bumper right now, Coop. I really don't need you on my bumper right now, man. Look, you angry. I get it. Cool. We all feeling Billy. Leave me Hey, as soon as he did that, bro, Spencer, get out my house. We not doing that. You ain't just going to be punching walls in my house. Finally That's ridiculous. Finally see this reality. It's far too late to turn back. Like even when you strike when the kettle is hot and the industry likes you, you still will likely be replaced with some. Keep, why does why does he keep doing that? Why does he why does he keep why does he keep putting um Ooh, does that mean he fell off? I can't think of his name. Jack Harlow. Why does he keep putting Jack Harlow? See, he ain't Point. fall off. This bro. combined with an intense oversaturation of the music market has really affected an artist's chances of maintaining relevance for more than a couple of years. So am, so am I the only one that thinks his music is just like not it? I know I can't be the only one, bro. I know I can't. I'm not the only human on the earth, bro. There's All right, no I've been like number one song at da da da, da or like, you know, album sells Shit. this, you know, and then I put out some shit that's like, I take a kind of a left turn and experiment with, you know, a different, and it doesn't hit. 
you know, and how fickle and how fast people can just be like, oh, he fell off or he, you know, it's. Yeah, that's crazy. All he did was experiment with one song and people were like, nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah, that was terrible. Don't drop no more. It's like, they want you to be on a streak so bad. It's like, why can't he just have like one L song and then go back to making like It's whatever. a game of, you right. know, you ride these, these waves and, and what altitude you're at and the inertia required to stay at this like altitude in pop culture and pop success. That's and, why a lot of the rappers today who are still really big names in the industry and like have not moved really is impressive, bro. Cause they really just like any of it, you know? I mean, right. how long of a run can you have? Because it's it's crazy. The longevity goes stupid. Now, with that being said, let's talk about Ice Spice, a female rapper who took the internet by storm over the last couple of years, but more recently has lie, her best song is with Pink Panthers, bro. That's like her best song. That's the only song, and it's literally her like featured on it. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It just she isn't by herself. In a serious downtrend in her career, and now tens of thousands of people are unfollowing her every single day. Ice Four hundred and fifty k. What incident happened? Four hundred fifty k. But from the Bronx, who started oh making goodness. music back in twenty twenty. Wait, 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 wait. Four fifty. Hold on, bro. All right, I don't know how to spell. Hold on, wait. I just not now. Wait. Bro, come on, come on, brain, lock in. <laughs> it's like, bro, you know what we came here to do? Wait, is her, wait, am I slow? Is it not there? Typed in ice and then it got ice cube. Oh no, it's, oh no, no, okay, okay. So she's still, okay, it ain't as bad as I thought. She she had eleven point three mil, but which is not really like you know it's like twenty one. How was that growing up there? Like it was fun. It was real fun. Like you know, fighting off crackheads and shit like that. And over a year later, she. So you know, I don't think fun for a lot of people is you know one v oneing crackhead like you know every other day i've never been from any place like that and i know i wouldn't want to do that and i'm pretty sure the people that do have to go through that don't want to do it either even more than i would like would not want to so i don't <laughs> like like i don't i don't think that she would find uh, herself right, going right. viral with her music video for her song munch this was back when tiktok was turning out number one records on a daily basis and for ice spice that was really no different how much was there before munch and then how long did it take for things to go crazy um so there was a couple songs before munch it was probably like four songs i think from the start she knew bam four songs and then your fifth one went stupid wild all over the world well, at least in the U.S., I know. I, her greatest know. asset was just that. Shaking her rump, rubbing her cooch, and rapping in that New York accent made her infamous right off the bat. When I say that, I mean some people were hating on her, a lot of people were loving her, but all that mattered was that she was finally popping off. Growing up, I always would just, like, write little raps, and um, I never... I mean, everyone knew this, though. I don't understand why the, this is not surprising. Everyone knew this. She she blew up. Not because her music she had like the song was like trending, it was catchy or whatever. But the main reason was cuz she was bad. That everyone knows that. That's not that's not like that's not like a oh. She blew up because everyone found her attractive and thought she was just like, you know, a cool person and you know, it's like wasn't because of the music, bro. Wrote like full songs though with like hooks and verses until I got a little older and I started to understand song structure more. But um, I always had like this like want to write basically. Even in promotional. I, I don't. I don't really believe that though. I really don't. I'm just keeping it honest. Videos I that she made before she went viral, it was beyond clear <laughs> nah. that she knew that her body was her ticket to fame. And at this point, she's one of those people who's known more for her likeness and her sex appeal than her actual music. 
feel like a lot of people think that oh i'm just like this like pretty girl that like post on instagram but there's like millions of pretty girls that post on instagram and like you know you have to really contribute to the culture in order to like matter i would actually say that her i mean no not really not all the time because if people if you get enough hype behind you bro like does what's your name bro ruby rose does she make me like didn't like she i swear only reason i know is because of like i'm pretty sure ddg if i'm tripping then i'm tripping i'm pretty sure that's the only it's only because you get clout from somewhere and then you just take off because people are like oh yeah she's bad and then that's it it's like there's nothing more to it. Distance it's online is more like a meme than a rapper. Now, to be clear, the two do go hand in hand in her success, and she could not have one without the other. I mean, recently she was yeah. on stream with Kai Sanat. He tells her to freestyle, and guess what she does out of pure instinct? Okay, let me hear you freestyle. Come up. Come up. Kai. 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 Kai, you knew you he he knew that though <laughs> why you do her like that he knew he knew he knew bro what 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 bro come on come up come up come up come up come up so much comes out it goes by he yo bro he said freestyle and she just turned around and you know the chat didn't care because chat's chat. <laughs> chat, chat oh, is just She chat. signs a record deal and starts showing up doing live performances where her job is strictly to get up there and shake that ass. It was at that time that she would be seen frequently with Drake and rumors of the two dating of course surfaced from there. Under the label, she would release her first EP, <laughs> which featured more viral songs like Bikini is it Bottom, the In Her Mood, like Kendrick Deli, Mills, not the and Braids, Princess right. Diana with her longtime idol Nicki Minaj. When I met Nicki, right, for the first time in person, um, I was like at her studio and she was like doing her glam and stuff. And you then nervous? I was nervous. Yep. She came out, right? Yeah. And um, I was fine. But she came out and she looked at like uh, my manager, James and like Riot and stuff and my photographer and everything. Okay. And um, then she came at me. And when she came to me wow. and she hugged me, I started crying because it just felt like a, a, I, I cried, but I walked away. Like I didn't say anything to her. I was just like. This EP was a pretty massive success. I for mean, her. well, congratulate I mean, that. Hey, hey, ain't no hating on that. That's cool. You you met someone you really looked up to. That's a W. You can never hate on. All it, sounds like, like one long song. You, but the target you. audience definitely ate this up. It was like the perfect music for women, and I would think gay men to get ratchet to. Songs about being a bad. <laughs> he said I would that think ass, gay men getting money and things like that. Don't get me wrong. With this newfound fame, also came a lot of new people who absolutely despised her. I feel like when you're like huge um and people just gonna want you to fall you know what i'm saying but either way as long as people were talking about her and she was still mm -hmm. going viral yep. i doubt either she or her label could care less this ep was enough for the machine to be willing to pour more money into her career and she would really hit it actually wait no wait i forgot about this this song this song wasn't terrible okay this wasn't like any of the like poopy or whatever she be on i don't know but it's like this one wasn't bad this one but she was also featured on this song so i want you to understand every time she's like featured besides like munch or like good songs With her next single boy's a liar catching another viral just, tiktok song and further pushing her and pink panther has put her on the map even more i just want to say that it's no glaze <laughs> Her image into the public eye and if you needed any more evidence that i spice was playing the game correctly she would get a shout out and even a feature on a taylor swift song called karma which in the music industry is like getting lebron to back you and say you're a great player who he wants on his team the two seemingly became <laughs> friendly taylor swift said that she was always listening to ice spice's music apparently and she was even with her at the super bowl doing very weird things with her hands and it It's like, what does, what, who, what, what she just put up, bro? It really did seem like Ice Spice would solidify Eli, Eli, herself Eli, with Eli, the release ass. of the massive Barbie movie Sorry. last year, as her second song with Nicki Minaj would be synonymous with this Barbie resurgence. This hit actually made her the first rapper to release four songs that reached the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 in the very same year. Which is very hard for me to wrap my head around when we've had artists like Drake, Eminem, Lil Wayne, Akon, and DMX 
amongst many others who have been absolute superstars over mm -hmm. the years. Either way, 2023 was a great year for the Ginger Rapper. They have you uh, uh, declaring her as the artist perfectly poised to have a breakthrough year hey. in 2023. You feel like this is your time, this is your year? For sure. But 2024 so far okay. has not been as kind to her. And it has me. Yeah, I'm about to say 23. Yeah, yeah. She was really on. Yeah, 23. She was really on top. I remember that. Yeah. 24. I mean, but. On top of like Drake versus Kendrick going on for like the longest time. I don't think anyone could really get past that, though. Because it was Drake versus Kendrick, like, for a good chunk of the year. So, Looking at her career through the same like, lens that I see someone like the baby, just two individuals who struck lightning in a bottle, who had their own unique sounds, and went super viral, and then super mainstream. And the thing is, the baby can actually rap. He can. It's the thing. Bro, his best verse is on Under the Sun, bro. His best verse is on Under the Sun with J. Cole. And, um... Forgot the other dude's name, man. But still, literally, his best verse ever. Just listen to Under the Sun, and I swear to you, it's on Dreamville's album, bro. Like, please. For about a year or two, and then once that newness kind of wears off, every song kind of starts to sound the same, and when aided by a little bit of controversy, they start to fall off. Now, in the name of continuing her fast food music run, she would come out with I mean, a yeah, but usually what you gotta do to, like, I mean, from what I've seen, is they just gotta come out with a, a different type of energy to make them sound new again, and then it usually works, and as long as you keep that up, or if you have like if people know you for a certain thing, you gotta kinda like stick to that. Like how like, bro, you got Drake, bro. Drake is known for melodies and more like singing aspects rather than rapping. So it's like, you know, you keep doing like that like he can do a mix of both and it's fine, but Kendrick known for obviously rapping. If Kendrick was singing, I'd be pretty confused. I'd be confused. Same thing with Cole. Uh, the prophetic lead single for her debut album Y2K, Thank You The Shit, Fart, which was a perfect way to kick off this album. Thank you the shit, bitch, you not even a fart. Yes, that is the chorus to this masterpiece. And this was actually a diss towards fellow female rapper Lotto, as the two had been sending subliminal shots at each other for the- Man, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know why they arguing. <laughs> we can sell it, we can settle it in my room. Yeah, look, I could be the judge. And <laughs> just look, Last year. Bro. Talk about a joke of a song that many people likely had to approve before it came out. She actually has a ton of bars over the years about pooping. I'm the shit. I'm that bitch. I'm Miss Poopy. I'm Miss Poopy, but I never smell. An artist's debut album is definitely something that could make or break their career. Terrible. And with her using this as the lead single, that led to this album selling a modest 28,000 copies. Which, let's be honest, 28,000 is not that bad for an artist of her caliber, but with the backing of a major record label, and the fact that she was technically selling this album on pre-order for over 10 months before it would even come out, and then when you package that information with all this bullshit bundles artists can now count as sales once again, you'll see that the 28,000 number is very inflated. Can you guys imagine- What the fuck was that? We not just gonna skip over that? Freak ass! Nigga, what, what the fuck was tra- and I just crashed out in two seconds. I ain't in this what, shit on what? vinyl. Jesus Christ. The other thing they is. They freaked out. Who recorded that? <laughs> Yo, we gotta get everybody Ice out, bro. Lost Go ahead and reset the chat. Of bro, her no monthly way. Listeners on Spotify while producing her debut album. She lost how many? 50% of. 25 million monthly listeners in one year? Nigga, she had that many on to begin with? You said that was 50, which means she had. That was 50%, which means she had 50 million. Are you crazy? Nah, she not 50 million. Nah, I'm be honest. That's ridiculous. For monthly. 50 million monthly listeners, bro. Dog, that don't even sound right. What? Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Seven. Oh, my. But you see what I, oh my goodness, bro. But you see what I'm saying? Boy's a liar. 
with her featured on it, you know what I'm saying? The the duo collab, 800 million streams. Barbie, all of these joints, literally, these three are features. These two are just like, hey, I mean, she still got streams on that. That's tough for that to be that song. I remember it was on TikTok a lot, so, you know. But, yo... I mean, she's still, she going on tour. You, hey, well, I don't know. But she's at 17. Now I got to see. <laughs> 18. Okay. I don't look happy in her natural habitat of twerking anymore. And now thank you for stopping by, by the way, bro. I, I meant to say that. Like, thank Jeez. you for stopping by the way. Bye, by the way, I can't speak today. I'm going to crash the fuck out. Losing followers and fans at a massive rate. And it all really started when she decided to take a rapper named Cleo Trappa on tour with her. Basically, this Cleo person would come forward and say that I... Oh, this, bro. I'm slow. Yes, this controversy. I couldn't... I was like, what are they talking about? This. She treated her like shit during the duration of this tour. Nobody should make you feel less than or make you feel like shit because they gave you an opportunity. The two of them had apparently been industry yeah, friends. Yeah, ever. For That's lame. Like, the last what? couple of years, but it sounds like the extent of their relationship was mainly public appearances and content creation. It's like every time she's like inviting me out, cause we never chilled on some like chill shit, bro. Like it was never like there's some- Oh, she never just like hang out like, yo, what's up? We ain't doing nothing. We just, it's just us. Or like, you know, we just hang out with a group of friends. Oh, that's corny. Chill. It was always like in the blogs the next day and the song is dropping too. So it was like, what? This girl kind of uses me for her rollouts. She oh. was set to open for Ice Spice, but was actually only offered this opportunity one day before the tour began, claiming that the- You said the stream crashed? Wait, what? No. Please, no. Oh dear God, no. The stream crashed? Bro, this happens all the time, I swear. Unless, or, or you mean like, hold on, let me check. Let me just make sure, because I'm going to be blown. <sighs> oh, my God. Bro, this happens every single time, I swear. Now it just looks like I just wasn't. The reason Man, I Spice whatever, invited whatever. her to come perform in the first place had to do with her trying to rebrand her image to make it look a certain way. So the ending of July, I get a call from Ice um, very early in the morning. Cleo, come. When it gets going again, it's not that bad. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I, I'm yeah, sick. <laughs> I was sitting here. Th bro. Come on tour with me. I miss you. Come. And I'm just like, girl, I'm not about to come on tour with you and watch you perform all month. Like, I got a nigga. <laughs> I got stuff that I could be doing. I could be getting money. I have opportunities in New York. I have brand deals. I have things mm -hmm. that I need to focus on. So for me to travel all over the United States with you to watch you perform kind of crazy. She's like, no, I want you to perform. And I gag. You want me to perform? She ain't never, ever, ever, ever brought me out on stage. And despite worries okay. about the last minute invite, okay. I Spice insisted that okay. everything would be taken care of from her travel accommodations like food and a place to stay to her actual performances. Keep in mind, this was a strenuous, unpaid opportunity that would take months of her life. Now, obviously, when someone goes... Oh, there it is. I'm, I'm like, all right, this is tough. But then I'm like, wait, yeah, you're not getting paid to do this. I mean, she's doing it for you, but like... She, well, we know, we know. Don't she tour and opens for, up for, for another artist. It is usually a great chance for them to gain a ton of You fans. said, who's this? Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Don't even know her name. I do not know this girl's name. I just know Ice Spice. It's supposed, she basically was with Ice Spice in like, 
Ice Spice did some stupid shit or whatever with her, and now she's crashed out because somehow, I don't know, I'm about to find out now. We better find out now. And exposure. So oftentimes, the bigger artists will recruit someone who makes similar music to them, or at least someone who can capture a similar fan base. Okay. Like back the in thing, the day, I saw yeah, Logic like... and Big Sean open up for Kid Cudi, and it was amazing because <laughs> I knew all three artists. Lil and Big so Sean opening up for so Kid Cudi. So I'm sure Cudi. Cleo saw this as a big opportunity, but apparently once she would go on the tour, the mistreatment would begin. For example, okay. she she claims that she would often be sent on stage before the show was even advertised to start, meaning she was performing what? to an empty venue. Online says the show starts at eight. It would even say nine sometimes. And guess what time I was going on? At 7.30, 7.45. I was going on before the show starts. So that was kind of weird in itself. What? Who, who, who? What? What? I would have walked back inside. Who's my favorite artist? Favorite artist. Smino. If you know who that is, Smino. Now, apparently, this Who's was yours? only the tip of the iceberg on this shitty situation. She claims that she had one day to prepare for the tour. Literally one day. So I'm just like, what do I have to pay for it? Nothing, you're gonna be with me. You're good, you're gonna be with me. She wasn't allowed to bring anyone with her and that she wasn't even listed on the what? lineup. And basically it sounds like she felt like she was being treated as a second class citizen, not having a dressing room, not having a hotel room to sleep okay. in and not being included in team meals while on the road. And we just sitting on the bus. We just like, yo, like, can somebody come with us to McDonald's? Like, nobody want to walk there by themselves. We, we say, go yeah. to with us. They like, oh, that's mad far. Like, nah, like, where is this desert? It's scary. I don't know. Depends on I'm which like, type. Okay. I'll just, I'll just say rap. I'll just say rap if you like rap. Cause that's like, that's like the easiest one. Hey, nobody said anything about food still. Come to find out. Everybody ate. <laughs> Can you believe that? Everybody ate. Guess what? They all went to a steakhouse. Basically, it sounds like she was not. Yo, bro. Damn. She cooking you. She up 37. Dave. Okay. 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 That's the, that's a that's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Part of the plan at all, and that by the end of the tour, it felt like she had overstayed her welcome. Remember, wait, is that she her? She wasn't even getting paid, and she even claimed that's that her while she right was there. performing, her debit card was used to buy designer items behind her back, and it really what? just seems like the opportunity was not worth the stress, nor the time, or the effort that she was putting in, and that the opportunities she was missing out on to be there were far greater than what this had all turned into. On top of that, Ice Spice apparently stopped talking to her. At all right in the middle of this tour and basically outside of a stylist that she made friends with she was pretty much on her own i didn't have a room. what i was told i was gonna be with in her Nas? oh yeah now that's yeah even yeah yeah that's yeah that's tough didn't have a room no room for me backstage at all i was in her dressing room i didn't have no writer i was with her i, I think i only got like one or two nas songs saved but like nas is tough like that's legend right there certified goat bro but like I'm confused like you're not being my friend so i'm going to make more friends like girl it's like she wanted me to be miserable and alone and it just didn't happen because that's not what god had planned for me boo Okay. That's you may know or probably Amen. don't know. I am a personal stylist. Cleo. And I was hired as a backup stylist for Ice Spice Tour. And when I say everything that Cleo was saying is dead ass true, is dead ass true. The first thing that caught me off guard was when I first made it there, okay, I get with Spice. And me and her cool as hell, so we just be regularly talking about shit. Yeah, I mean, you got a lot of these old school rappers, but then you got Nas. He's dead. Yeah, Nas is way, bro. Nas is way different, bro. Like, a way like <laughs> Nas is tough bro it's bro it's this song with that's what it is bro it's this song with Nas and Lil Wayne bro tough I'm gonna I'll, I'll play it soon oh, shit. I see she type got an attitude so I asked her like what's up like you good type shit like you know actually no I can just tell you the, the what's that drink called bro hold on it's it's tough though it's the never die never die with yeah bro that just tough feeling the rope she like, oh yeah, I'm cool, woo, woo. It's just Cleo black ass doing too much. I'm like, damn, hold up. So now, who I the fuck is she talking to? <laughs> like, what? 
Ain't she black? See, here we go, bro. All because she light skin. Now she ain't black. Room with ice. She on FaceTime with Riot. She letting him know, like, yeah, um, she doing too much. She blowing my scale. She was like, bitches gotta go. They asking for too much. Woo woo. Bitches acting broke. Like I'm really tired of her black ass. And I'm like, damn, like, why does she keep saying? Yeah, facts, bro. Yeah, he do got the ice spice hair. Yeah, gingered up, bro. He over there. <laughs> It's like, whose side are you on? It's like, what? And let's be honest, guys. It's not rare for an opener to get less than preferential treatment while on tour with a bigger act. And you do hear a lot of stories about openers not even spending any time at all around the main act, despite them being on tour together for months. But granted, this was apparently her friend, who she allegedly begged last minute to do this with her. I took a step back and just made the opportunity what I could make it. But it wasn't genuine at all. Nothing that yeah. you do is genuine. Everything is calculated. Like I said, I was the token black friend. You didn't have your other best friend around because you said that she didn't match your aesthetic. Like, there's something very wrong with somebody that is only friends with somebody for their aesthetic. Look how you talking to me like you was never even my friend, bro. She's just like, bro, this is why you're never going to be anywhere. This is why you're never going to get nowhere. Blah, blah, blah. If I was a careerless bum, why would you even bring me on tour? Lastly, she would claim... Yeah, what does that... Does she just want to look like the hero? Is that what she's trying to do? Like, oh, look, I put her on X, Y, and Z. She, like, she should be thankful... Like, I really am out here putting other artists on. It's like, Ice Spice, you, I want to be so honest, you're not the type of artist to be putting anyone else on, though, at all. You're not. You are not. I'm not going to lie. If if I if I ever see anyone with a backing, like, yo, bro, Ice Spice said I was tough, I'm not listening to your music. I'm, <laughs> Ice Spice, Ice Spice backup is not a, man, recommendation. It's not Spice tough. Has sold her soul. Everybody hold hands. Hold hands, hold hands. Lord I remember everybody soul. was talking about this too. They were saying that he started praying and, and <laughs> she can't cook for real. I know. It was like, I don't know what she want. I don't know what she expected, bro. Like she, she brung this on her own, on herself. So much for bringing this amazing group together right now with this amazing stream and our amazing teams, Lord. We are all from the same place and we are all trying to get to... Yo bro, yo bro, yo bro, yo bro, yo bro, yo bro, <laughs> yo bro. Like, come on, he he moving too much for me. What is wrong? Is what what is going on? What is happening? Different things in our lives, Shaft. So thank you so much for bringing all of us together, and I pray that you allow us to grow on other people, on each other, and. I pray that you what is going on? Yo, bro. Yeah, I rebuke both of these two. I don't know what either. He's moving his head like the spirit is just evil spirit just in his body. He Allows needs some measures. help. Any measures in his life and just watch over us daily. You bless us. You allow us to bless other people with our work and our amazing craft. And you help us enjoy this night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 She would also share this text message exchange Ice. they had where she expressed her frustrations after the <laughs> He's not rapping the <laughs> Yes, yes, bro, exactly. He's not he's not rapping it. You over here bobbing his head. I'm like, you losing me, bro. I don't know what you're on. I don't know what you got going and on. And Ice Spice pretty much just replies in these messages that none of that was her fault and that it wasn't that deep. Later, she would even respond to these claims on a Twitter space okay. where she had this to say. Y'all put in laughing faces. Y'all know, <laughs> know this is not funny. Bitch, you not going to tell the people how we was at an Italian restaurant and you ate so much food, you fucking vacuum, that the server was like, where did the food go? Like, stop it right now. You talking about some, she ain't let me to the back of her room on her tour bus. She had this big ass room. Bitch, can I play with my one time? Now this may be- What? 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 The back of her room on Freaked her out. tour bus. She had this big ass room. Bitch, can I play with my one time? Now this may- 
Ice, look, you got me. You don't need to decide now. <laughs> People even more Hold upset, on. and they called out Ice Spice's hypocrisy Bro. for clowning this woman for eating a lot, when many speculate that she's been off that Ozempic weight loss program. And the speculation actually got so strong that she released this, like, workout weightlifting video. They really didn't prove anything. People also claim that she basically is someone who thinks that her shit don't stink, and that she has way too big of an ego for how volatile her career is at this point. I mean, honestly, I didn't think this was like the biggest deal in I the mean, world to really like cancel worthy really but with most of her that. fans being women they aren't going to like the whole mean girl shit especially when it feels like she was punching down here on someone who was supposed to be her friend someone who she invited to come perform on this tour for free I don't know, to me, if I'm her manager, we aren't releasing any more albums, just the occasional single trying to go viral on TikTok, and honestly, the primary focus shouldn't even be on rap anymore. Like, I think she has to transition into an influencer or an IG model. Yeah, bro, that's what I think. She should just be, a, like, an icon, like, a, just like someone that everyone, just how Ruby Rose and all of them are, bro. Just move to that category. Stop making music and just move to one of those. I swear... You be chilling. You don't got to do nothing else. Nobody would care. Nobody would be like, oh, why is she not making no more music? No, I swear. Because that wasn't why you blew up, really. Or an OF girl or some shit like that. Nah, because OF to me, is crazy. The don't go. OF is crazy. Please don't do that. <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Please. Actually, she probably would make a lot of money, but please don't do that. Here, don't don't close it pretty damn fast. Like but I do want to know what you guys think about Ice Spice. I want to know what you think about her career. I've yet to meet like a big Ice Spice stan in yeah, my I've life. I've never met but anyone. I'm sure that's they're like out there. But either way, I do want to like, thank you guys yo, for watching today's video. Love Ice Spice. A like that's and my like. Yeah, I've never met anyone like that. That was a good video. That was that was the first video first video all right man if you enjoyed that video make sure to check out another video like that you know just click it click it right here you don't you don't got a sub or nothing bro i'm making it easy just just click the video it's on your screen already might as well go ahead click it